Hey everyone, I'm D21Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today we're going boldly where no one has gone before. <laughs> That's right, we're taking a look at the Star Trek The Next Generation line from Art Asylum and Diamond Select. Now this particular figure here was released in 2006 and we are looking at Worf from Star Trek The Next Generation who was portrayed by Michael Dorn on the series of the same name and in the subsequent movies. These figures are absolutely fantastic. I'm a big fan of what Diamond Select and Art of Asylum released, so let's go ahead and take a look at this figure's accessories to begin with here. Worf comes with all the accessories that you see here. The first one I want to take a look at is this display stand. Now this display stand is actually sculpted to look like a transporter pad, which was a commonly used piece of technology on Star Trek The Next Generation and any TV series or movie that was on at the time. And what a transporter pad is, for those of you who are non-Trekkies, is it's a teleportation device. Characters on the show would stand on these devices and they would actually get beamed down to a planet or to a nearby ship. So it was a great idea for a display stand since we already saw the cast of the show standing on this so frequently in the series. It makes sense that we'd want to stand our figures on a similar device. So a nice touch by Diamond Select and Art Asylum. Next here we do have a phaser rifle. Worf being the chief of security was seen with this phaser rifle a few times throughout the show. Really an appropriate idea. Some nice tactical gear here for Worf. Next here we do have a Type 2 Phaser. Now the Type 2 Phaser was standard issue for anyone on an away mission. Stun setting and kill setting. Nice idea there. And Worf does come with this tricorder. Now this tricorder device we definitely need to stop and take a look at. It's got some fantastic paint work here. Some great sculpting. They really went all out on this accessory. And finally here we do have these hands. Now Worf being a Klingon is very familiar with combat. So you definitely want to have your Worf pose in action positions from time to time. And it's nice that he has this set of clenched fists here, so you can do those dynamic poses with your Klingon warrior. The final accessory here I want to highlight is Worf's sash, or baldric. And what this is, is it's an item that would be worn by Klingons to kind of showcase their house or their lineage, where they come from. Honor and tradition are very important to Klingons, so Worf definitely wanted to let everybody know that he was from the house of Moog, or that he was the son of Moog. And you'll see here that's represented by these two pins that have been sculpted on this baldric. Also, take a look at this sculpting here. This item is fantastic. It looks just like it did on the show. Lots of great detail in that item there. Now this item is removable, but I've chosen to keep it on my Worf figure because he really was rarely seen without this on him. Okay, let's take a look at this Worf figure articulation here. Worf does have a head that's designed to move 360 degrees, but due to the ponytail sculpted on the back of this figure, his head actually doesn't turn that far. He does have a shoulder that'll rotate 360 degrees. He has a hinge at the shoulder that allows his arm to move up about that far and down. He's got a bicep rotation here, moves 360 degrees. He does have a single jointed elbow. He also has a wrist rotation that moves 360 degrees, and he has the exact same articulation on the other side. Now he does have a waist rotation, and he's got kind of a classic hip joint here, not a ball joint or anything, it's just enough to move his leg forward about that far, and the leg actually only goes back about that far. And then he has a single jointed knee, and he does have a foot that moves down about that far, and up about that far, and there's no ankle pivot. Now Worf's actually a pretty tall figure here, and as we stand in next to this tape measure here, you'll see that he stands almost 8 inches tall, so pretty big for a figure line. And for size comparison here, we do have Worf standing next to what could be considered an average size figure from this Star Trek line by Art Asylum and Diamond Select. We have Captain Picard here on the right. And for a Marvel Diamond Select size comparison here, we do have the Marvel Select Doctor Doom on the right. And here's Worf next to the 6 inch scale Marvel Legends Wolverine that was released this summer. And for those of you older toy collectors out there, here's Worf standing next to the Playmates Dr. Crusher from Star Trek The Next Generation from the 90s. So that's my review of Season 7 War from Art Asylum and Diamond Select. My only gripe about this figure, and it is a minor gripe, is that he didn't include a Klingon Batleth. You Trekkies out there will know what I'm talking about. And while future Worf releases from Art Asylum and Diamond Select did include that weapon, this is the only Worf I've got, and I just feel like I'm missing out a little bit. If you like my videos, please feel free to rate, share, and subscribe. Also, catch me on Twitter at D21Beast, and I'd love to talk to you guys. We'll see you next time. Hey, toy fans. Did you watch this review and find yourself wanting to know more about Worf? Well, Star Trek actually streams on Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon. So check out these suggested episodes to learn more about this great character. Kapla!